Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to this latest webinar briefing. We're going to talk about the atmospheric river and a few other things if we enter this uh, active weather pattern in early February. Thanks for tuning in. This is Alex Tardy, National Weather Service. All right, uh, the past 24 hours, this is the rainfall we've seen. Most places, this was a coastal type storm, a uh, half inch to up to an inch. Lesser amounts, uh, even in some of the mountain locations. There was a lot of thunderstorms uh, with about 80 clouds of ground strikes along the coast of Orange, Riverside, and San Diego. All right, how are we doing so far? So for January on the left, since October on the right, you can see that uh, we're about 100% of normal uh, in January, but uh, quite a bit wetter, double the normal rainfall for January up in the LA basin. Now, um, since October, that area also has been much wetter than normal, about 150%. But uh, most of our area since October has also been above normal, about 110 to 130% of normal. So uh, definitely a significant precipitation this winter uh, with a few storms in December, January, and now February. Here's the latest satellite view. Uh, visibles on the left, water vapor on the right. A big warm front is going to develop the rain Friday evening, and that will continue right through Saturday morning. The L is the uh, low-pressure cold front that will arrive Saturday afternoon and early evening, 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. on Saturday. A lot of cold air on the visible imagery on the left. That cold air is going to start coming in Saturday night, um, and then we'll see much colder air early next week. That will be the lowering of the snow levels with that cold front early Saturday evening from the very high levels Saturday morning. All right, Atmospheric River is our focus. It's starting to develop midday Friday, and it will continue to become focused and move towards the Southern California coast as we go into Saturday. And um, all right, and the weather pattern looks to stay unsettled all the way through early next week, Tuesday. Sunday, Monday, pretty unsettled as a large upper level trough level pressure just parks over the west coast, keeping that broad, moist onshore flow. Steady rain across the coastal slope, showers elsewhere. The colder air sneaks in late Tuesday, as shown on the right, and that'll bring another cold front through the area. So we're going to have active precipitation, especially on Monday and Tuesday. All right, first the atmospheric river. That comes in tonight through Saturday morning. The focus, the deep red, is for late morning Saturday into midday, up into Point Conception, then down through Santa Barbara, L.A. Then by midday and afternoon, and especially here, Saturday afternoon, the peak of the storm as the focus is right over southwest California. The deep red, the strongest winds, the deepest moisture just ahead and along that cold front. That'll be the heaviest rain, again, Saturday afternoon and evening. It'll rain before that, and it's certainly going to rain after that, but that's going to be the focus. All right, what kind of rainfall totals are we talking about? This is all the way through our Tuesday storm. We're going to see several inches of rain. Most of this is going to come on Saturday along our coastal slopes in the red shaded there. Check out the scale. The scale is now up to 10 inches in those areas. So the wettest areas around a foot of rain. Now most places like the metro areas, uh, two to three inches of precipitation going down to San Diego closer to two. Um, a lot of this again is going to occur Saturday, but not all of it, but a lot of it's going to occur Saturday. So if you live in a metro area uh, over the next several days, expect two to four inches of rain with a big chunk of it coming on Saturday, even quite a bit of spillover into the deserts. So that's the big picture. The finer details for the atmospheric river all the way through Saturday evening is shown here. And that's where we expect that ribbon of heavy rain along the coastal slopes of San Bernardino, widespread four to six inches. Um, even the mountains of Orange County getting up two or three inches of rain. The metro areas anywhere between one to two inches. The least amount of rain will be down right around the Mexico border and of course in the deserts. But we don't want to leave the deserts out. They are going to see significant rainfall spilling in with this atmospheric river Saturday afternoon and evening. Snow. Initially not a very good snowmaker, very high snow levels Saturday morning. But with this aggressive cold front coming through after 3 p.m. on Saturday, 
we expect snow levels to crash and that will be one to two inches per hour of snow between 4 and 8 p.m. all the way down to about 5,500 feet. So look for whiteout conditions even in the towns such as Wrightwood, Big Bear, Running Springs with this strong cold front. The precipitation will taper off by 10 p.m. but not end on Saturday. Wind. Wind's going to be a big deal, especially in the high deserts, but even on the coast. So prepare for wind gusts of 35, 45 miles per hour anywhere. But if you live in those favored deserts in the ridgetop areas, higher than that, 50 to 60 miles per hour, as shown here in the yellow-red colors. The peak of the wind looks like Saturday afternoon and evening with that cold front. All right, uh, the rain's going to continue. It's going to be more showery, like I mentioned on Sunday. Snow levels will linger between 5,500 and 6,500. So we're going to see more snow producer, finally. Uh, so on Sunday, a lot of showers over the valleys and coast, a steady rain along the coastal slopes. I think on Monday, we're going to have a lot more widespread precipitation, even down into San Diego County. And so these totals here reflect that where most places are going to pick up in addition another half to one inch coastal slopes, another one to three. That's on top of the heavy rain you see on Saturday. All right, here are the details. I'll let you look them over. The bottom line is some light rain developing Friday evening, uh, becoming widespread after midnight, heavy on the coastal slopes by late tonight and Saturday morning. The winds will be picking up, especially Saturday morning on the coast and the mountains. We're going to see some steady and heavy rainfall rates along the coastal slopes of Orange and San Bernardino even Saturday morning. Now the rain will mostly be light in San Diego and intermittent Saturday morning. But across the Orange and San Bernardino areas a steady more widespread rain. High snow levels unfortunately those will eventually come down by Saturday late afternoon. We begin to see a threat for debris flows and some urban flooding by Saturday morning because of that warm front that brings the first surge of moisture. Now the main cold front and atmospheric river looks to be Saturday afternoon, say between 2 p.m. in Orange County to as late as 8 p.m. in Palm Springs. So that front will go west to east. Along that front will be the focus of the heaviest rain. Some of the wettest locations, 0.75 per hour, a lot of places, even valleys, 0.3 to 0.6 per hour. It's going to be a soaking rain. Um, that's also when the winds will be strongest. Most wind prone areas like the ridges and the desert slopes up to 70 miles per hour in the high deserts. Also a wind shift with that cold front between 3 and 7 p.m. A swell is going to be developing so we have a lot going on on Saturday where the surf will be building too along with that wind driven rain. Um, I think after 10 p.m. on Saturday Overnight, the rain won't end, but the rates are going to drop significantly. The rain will be much showerier and lighter. We're going to see some significant snowfall, okay, and that's going to be mostly after 5 p.m. on Saturday. Saturday early evening, 1 to 2 inches per hour, and uh, up around the resort level where the towns are, 6 to 12, up where the ski lifts are, up to 18 inches. All of that occurring mostly late afternoon Saturday and early evening Saturday evening. So basically between 4 and uh, 10 p.m. A little bit of slushy snow all the way down to about 5,000 feet. If we're going to have impacts, which we likely will with urban small stream flooding and sharp rises to some of our bigger rivers, that's going to happen um, Saturday afternoon and evening. All right, uh, it stays unsettled. So I talked about a lot of showers on Sunday, numerous on Monday, perhaps continuing into Tuesday. There's going to be widespread precipitation. The surf will be decreasing. We're going to see not as heavy rainfall rates, but nonetheless still significant. Stronger wind gusts will remain over some of our ridges and desert slopes. Snow level will be lower, like I talked about, between 5,500 and 6,500. Stay tuned. On Tuesday, it could be even lower. So with the weather's pattern Sunday through Tuesday, we could see one to two feet up at the resort level. Now, not all this is going to occur at once, but spread out between Sunday and Tuesday as that colder air slowly comes in. With additional rainfall, we're going to keep the rivers flowing. Um, they may not leave their banks by any means, but still significant water flow in the rivers and urban stream flooding. Um, significant snowfall for the mountains with this pattern Sunday through Tuesday. All right, I mentioned a couple rivers. Um, this is available on our webpage where it predicts the river levels. 
You can get the latest information by going to weather.gov San Diego. Um, also showing here the Santa Margarita River, which also looks like it's going to have a sharp increase uh, as the water levels rapidly rise from the heavy rain Saturday afternoon and early evening Saturday. All right, here's the grand summary. I'll let you look this over at your leisure. Atmospheric river on Saturday with a very strong cold front, high snow levels. The snow levels crash with that cold front. Um, the cold front arrives between 2 p.m. in Orange County, Palm Springs by 8 p.m. The cold air starts arriving after 4 p.m. on Saturday, so the snow levels that are really high crash down. So we're going to go from rain to snow-covered roadways all the way down to our mountain communities at five, 6,000 feet. That heavy rain has the potential for debris flows and rock slides. Now, the rest of the weekend, not a complete uh, uh, washout. So some scattered showers, numerous over the mountains on Sunday. I think more widespread precipitation could develop on Monday and even continue with that cold front potentially on Tuesday. There's the big totals. Um, and most of that's going to occur on Saturday. And also at the very bottom here, it looks like an additional one to three along our coastal slopes Sunday through Tuesday. So you add that up, that's the potential for about a foot of water along the San Bernardino coastal slopes. So definitely some significant runoff with those. Uh, as you go further south, not as much, but still our Palomar Mountain in San Diego County up around four inches plus. Uh, and up around five to six inches potentially for the Santa Ana wettest coastal slope. So significant weather of different types. Warm atmospheric river changing over to cold um, trophy system that keeps it really unsettled Sunday through Tuesday. Thanks for tuning in. Here are some links um, for monitoring precipitation and wind speeds. Always check the latest forecast weather.gov, the watches and warnings posted there, as well as the advisories. Uh, which are the lower end. And uh, you can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Be safe. Have a good weekend.